Hey guys, welcome back to the fifth episode, I believe, of The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. So we're back here at the same room that we was, we left off at with this letter. Looks like a picture. So here we go, we've got the picture. It looks like Ethan's family, because that looks like him all the way to the left, and Grandpa... I don't know who the four are. Let's look at the back. Gramps, then Travis, Mom, Dad, and Chad. So Travis, you'd think, you'd think Mom and Dad would be in the middle. Mom and Dad, and then over there on the right, Travis and Chad, which is probably right. Gramp was quiet. He may have just wrote them on there. That might not necessarily be Mom, Dad, whatever. Uncle Chad was mean. So fatty is Uncle Chad. Fatty McFatty Patch or Chatty McChatty Patch. Dad. No, yeah, that's right. That's right. That is. It is Chad, then Dad, then Mom, and then Travis. Because Travis was the boy that got his legs cut off on the, on the train. All right. So now he's seen his whacked out looking hillbilly family. And you all think I'm redneck. <laughs> Go figure. At least I ain't tried to kill my own kid yet. All right, let's put it down. Let's go peek around through here and see if we can't find something to pick up. You need to talk to your son. He was poking around in the old Vandergriff house again. Said he found some secret room. Hmm. Yeah, really? Okay, I will go talk to him. Dale sounds like a puss. Oh, really? Okay. I will go talk to him. All right, let's go in this room. What did you do? What did you wake up? Nothing. I found a room. I walked into it. That's it. Hmm. Okay. So he found a room. All right, wait, wait, where'd we come in? Right there? That's outside. You can feel it, right? Something, uh, something coming from the Vandegriff house. I can feel it. Ethan disturbed the sleeper. He must have punished. Punished? He's a kid, you freaking loons. They're getting worse. They keep talking about this thing, this sleeper. I know. What I don't know is if it's real or not. So Ed must be the grandpa. Travis, leave the boy alone. I see how you've been looking at him. You don't even know, do you? You have no idea what's going on. You have to help us. It's the only way. It wants Ethan. You're crazy. You've all gone crazy. We went around this way already and came out the other side. Now we've got left the thinks upstairs. Hmm. Maybe the last little one's in that room or It's not my fault. 
I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Saving Thane. Ethan's family blamed him. Whatever it was he'd accidentally let loose, his family was convinced that hurting him would solve their problems, would soothe their disturbed minds. Whatever haunted the Carters was still here somewhere, in the wind. All right, still here in the wind. Looks like a path. Wait, there's a path over there. People come here for many reasons. They want to ask me questions about the future. I can see the future. So it is the past that interests me. If you want to find my house, you must answer the questions I ask of you. Okay. Do you feel there is vanity in charity? Is cheating truly unfair to others? When you close your eyes, Whose voice do you hear? Is betrayal caused by inequality or injustice? Do you admire thieves for their bravery or their greed? Do you feel victory when your words cause pain? Why wow, that was some voodoo mumbo jumbo squeaky creaky be things. Alright, it's not letting me how oh yeah it will. A beautiful woman sat by a river. A witch approached and told the woman she was to have a child. The woman again cried uh, with joy. But the joy turned to fear, and she could not stop crying. Fear turned to sadness. The woman continued to cry. She cried for months, hardly sleeping, until the child was born. But the crying had aged the woman, and she was no longer beautiful. When she was old enough, her, her son climbed the mountain to find the home of the witch. He asked her if she could make his mother beautiful again. The witch asked the boy many questions. After hearing the answers, the witch told the boy she had lied to the mother about her child. The boy disappeared, and the mother was beautiful again. Okay. Very, very... Ethan, the point of life is not to rock the boat. Just try to get along. Stop living in your head. Do something real. That's what people respond to. Reality. Must have been like a little fort. Can we get in there? No. Ethan, honey, I'm sorry I yelled at you. I want you to keep this note and read it. Every time I lose my temper, I don't mean it. And no, I got a snake's tongue. You're my little guy, my precious bean. You just got to pull your head out of them clouds, okay? Love, Mom. Oh, Mom was trying to say she was sorry. All right, where to now? That's the one thing the game's definitely missing is the map. <laughs> so we've completed two scenes in one episode, folks. I don't know where to go. I guess back towards the house, which seemed to be down this way. There's the house. And there's the road coming up from the house, so we're just going to jump on the road and keep going.
I mean, the graphic quality is reduced a little bit. It's going to be when you're watching this from the compile or from when I compile it. Because to get this on YouTube at full 100% video quality, it's like a, about a 20 gig file. <laughs> but I do it, I upload it at about 70%. And it still, I looked at the video the other day, and it still looked really good. And what is this? I don't know. Look at that. The outlay on the, that jeez, it just drives me crazy. Hmm. Oh. All right, folks. We found a new object to interact with, and that's going to be the end of the episode. Hope you guys are enjoying the story so far. It's actually pretty good. I mean, it's enough to keep you playing it. So uh, hit that thumbs up button. Let me know that you're liking it if you're liking it. If you don't like it, you know, let me know in a comment or whatnot. <coughs> you know, and all that other good stuff. All right, so hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. And, uh, yeah, have a great day.